hello to all so welcome back to youtube channel medicos factory so today we are going to continue the series of adrenergic antagonist we have already previously discussed the pharmacological actions of the beta blockers so today we are going to discuss the uses of beta blockers and so on the our series will continue and whatever the content provided here are verified so you can directly use for your exam purposes and in case of doubt you can ask in the comment section and we are going to complete the entire pharmacology and we'll cover entire series of it so any student who are waiting for any new sessions kindly stay updated in the channel according to the order wise the series will be coming clear so let's begin so today we are going to discuss is uses of beta blockers so first we will start with the cardiac uses in the cardiac uses our topic is hypertension now beta blocker decrease blood pressure by decreasing the heart rate decreasing the myocardial contractility and cardiac output as there is decrease in the bp the following factors will automatically decrease also reduces release of renin from juxta glomerular cells of the kidneys and highly effective in patient with the high renin level so you can also uh, give this beta blockers to the patient who is having the renin problem where the levels are fluctuated long term use of beta blockers reduce peripheral vascular resistance hence vasodilation may be due to persistent reduction of cardiac output as you take this tablet there will be the reduction in the cardiac output and due to the continuous reduction in the cardiac output there can be the conditions of the vasodilation beta blockers can be used in hypertension with heart failure or in a young patients remember this fact very well this was the cardiac use related to hypertension now heart failure beta blockers can worsen heart failure but recent studies have shown that in heart failure beta blockers improve symptoms there can be the chances to worsen but recent studies says that it can improve low dose to be started and increase the dose gradually so we can go for it but you can you can identify is say you cannot use the loading dose some uh, try to give in that way but that is not the thing they reduce sympathetic activity during heart failure so the heart rate increase cardiac output increase this all activities will be decreased by the beta blockers and also it decreases the cardiac remodeling i hope this term is clear to you already you learn in the physiology you know, that it is a group of molecular cellular and intestinal changes that manifest clinically change in size mass and functions of the heart after injury carvedilol metoprolol bisoprolol are given at a low dose in mild to moderate heart failure do remember this okay beta blockers reduce progression of heart failure morbidity and mortality are reduced as the beta blockers are given we know that already we have shown that it helps in improving the symptoms so it decreases the morbidity that is the condition of suffering of a disease and also it decreases the mortality the state of being subject to death now next is angina pectoris that is chest pain beta blockers decreases the workload and myocardial o2 demand of heart so myocardial activity is decreased but it decreases the specific o2 demands do remember that used in treatment of the classical angina not used in the acute attack clear remember that point very well severity and frequency of attack is reduced improves the exercise tolerance beta blockers are used in the iso sorbid monotrite mononitrate and dinitrate so you can use beta blockers with the mononitrate iso sorbid mononitrate or dinitrate so it is used in the form of a combination drug beta blockers are contraindicated where in a variant angina because beta blockers induce alpha 1 receptor mediated coronary vasoconstriction and worsen angina as it leads to the as the alpha blockers one lead to the vasoconstriction as it leads to the vasoconstriction there are higher chances because it increases the bp and there are higher chances to be the get angina in the form of acute clear so it is contraindicated you remember that now in arrhythmias 
propranolol is used in tachycardia and paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia in both type of tachycardia we are using propranolol esmolol can be used in the psvd beta blocker controls ventricular rate in the atrial fibrillation do remember this point it increases the refractory period of heavy node so conduction and it also used to after cardiac pacemaker so when there is a replacement of the sr node at that time propranolol is used effective in arrhythmia due to digitalis toxicity thyrotoxicosis or pheochromocytoma that is in the adrenal gland carcinoma clear next use is myocardial infarction cardiac use in the salvage in the acute mi within 6 or 12 hours of acute attack of the mi etanolol or metoprolol should be infused in the form of iv so it is the duration in which r period you can give iv it reduces the infarction size cardiac work and arrhythmias and they also reduces the platelet aggregation and fibrinolysis because it is necessary in the mi patient why and the given period of time should be seen clear and it also decreases the fibrinolysis why because degradation of the fibrin network of the blood clot to the rescue the mi patient it has the cardioprotective effect and reduces the morbidity and mortality what is the treatment beta blockers prevent in reinfarction and ventricular fibrillation after mi so they are more preferred and beta blockers is continued up to 2 years after attack of mi do remember this this is a clinical knowledge which will be helpful to you and beta blockers are contraindicated in shock heart attack shock that is the cardiogenic shock or hypovolemic shock the heart rate and whose heart rate is below 50 per minute and severe heart failure do remember that due to the property of the beta 1 blockage next is hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy beta blocker improves cardiac output in obstructive cardiomyopathy by reducing the l left ventricular outflow during exercise so the lvf is the condition which can be reduced by this uh, cardiomyopathy acute aneurysms subarachnoid hemorrhage beta blockers reduces aortic pulsations in the aneurysms why because in the case of the sub arachnoid hemorrhage what is it the bleeding in the space between the brain and tissue covering the brain and in the aneurysms due to the aortic pulsations clear i hope that the sessions which are taught here are helpful to you pulsation you know that the pulsations are felt continuing the abdo abdominal areas now we will discuss the non cardiac uses what is the cns in the migraine propranolol is effective in the chronic treatment of migraine in the anxiety propranolol has the anti anxiety effect that it decreases the palpitation tremor sweating due to anxiety during exams or interview you can give or also use in anxiety neurosis to relieve somatic symptoms essential tremors propranolol block the beta to receptors and reduces tremors alcohol and opioid withdrawal propranolol plus sympathetic overactivity due to withdrawal symptoms of alcohol and op opioid so it is used in that symptoms too and akathisia that is propranolol may be used in case of akathisia that is in the, the anti psychotic drugs so who is taking the anti psychotic drugs in that patient there are chances of it there is a combination of feeling of restlessness and agitation compelling in need to move or that way that is a I got this. Okay. Now, what is the endocrine use? In the free chromocytoma, propranolol is used to control tachycardia and hypertension due to free chromocytoma. Initially, alpha blocker is given followed by beta blocker to prevent sudden rise in BP. This is alpha and this is beta. Okay. And labetolol can also be given. In the hyperthyroidism, propranolol controls symptoms like tremor, palpitation due to Graves' disease. That is hyperthyroidism and inhibits peripheral conversion of t4 to t3 can be used in the preoperatively clear what are the other uses of beta blockers in the glycoma timololol pentaxolol and levetiracetam are used topically but highly used is timololol they inhibit the production of aqueous humor and also increases its outflow because we know alpha 1 has the property but sympathetic absorption of this drug may cause the toxicities It is also used in the portal hypertension. That is, propranolol 
blocks beta to mediated vasodilation hence induces the alpha 2 receptor to mediate splenic vasoconstriction hence it prevents bleeding from the esophageal varices and hence the portal retention reduces up to 40% sc butolol is used in the smith meigen syndrome that is development disorder with the less iq and delayed speech and language skills it is the bipod defect in that also sc butolol is used so we will keep till here in the next session the continue the endonergic antagonist series will be done in case of doubt you can use the comment section and i hope so that whatever the content provided here are proven helpful to you thank you have a nice day